Hello friends, I welcome you all to the Connexo SME IPO. This is a season of IPO and many IPOs are coming. Today we have Insulation Energy for your review and discussion. Insulation Energy is promoted by Mr. Manish Gupta and Mr. Vikas Jain in October 2015. Insulation Energy is mainly engaged in the business of manufacturing solar panels and modules of high efficiency of various size as per the demand. The company has a setup in the Jaipur. It commences production with 16 megawatt capacity in 2017, which has been gradually increased to 200 mW in 2021 and 500 megawatt in 2022, where the commercial production is expected to start from October 2022. The company also trades in the solar power conditioning unit and tall tabular lead acid batteries in combination with solar PV model as a solar power generation system which is known as SPGS. The company is expanding its capacity in its subsidiary and in 2021, the company had incorporated a wholly owned subsidiary Insulation Green Energy Private Limited. Now, the company has got strong sales network. The company sells its PV model to original equipment manufacturing through channel sales and EPS, EPC OEM contributes to the major part of its sales accounting to 55% of the overall sales, while the rest is contributed by channel sales and EPC. Company has got very strong customer base, whereas its top 10 customers contributes around 79% of the overall sales, while top 5 customers contribute around 65% of the sales. The company has got 20% plus distributor and over 100 dealers network to expand its business and currently, the company is a leading player of solar PV manufacturing with a strong presence at the point of sale at Delhi, Haryana, Jaipur, and Gujarat. Now, let's talk about what are the company's strength. The company's sales has been increasing. The demand strong outlook is very strong, with the government's aim at providing electricity to every household. The company has got strong relationship with its suppliers and its top 10 suppliers meets around 63% of its raw material requirement. Like strain, the company also faces some weaknesses. One thing is, the company does not have long-term contract with the raw material suppliers. The major supplies from the six, around 65% comes from the few suppliers and therefore, the uh, therefore, there is a risk of concentration. The company is also in the solar business where the consumer has started gaining the uh, awareness and this can be a cause of a loss of a business due to the lack of consumer businesses. Intense competition from the various domestic and international manufacturers and there are very strong top line companies which are present, which are having a solar, <coughs> solar panel manufacturing as well as the solar waste. There are no entry barrier and anyone can enter in the business with the technology. How the business can be grown? The company has its own strategies. First, scale up manufacturing capacities and diversify its regional presence. Focus on the existing market and tender bidding for the government. Continuously holding the market trends, supply of a quality product and fulfillment of a order quantity. The, the company gives the guarantee of around 25 years, which is weekly talk about their quality. Let's talk about how the solar panel industry is facing up. The Indian renewable energy sector is the fourth attractive sector in the group world. India ranked fourth in the wind power and fifth in solar power and fourth in the renewable power. As in September 21, India had a capacity of 101 megawatt in the renewable energy. 38% of it is installed over an installed power capacity. The country is targeting around 450 gigawatt and out of that 60% would be from the solar. With a potential capacity of 363 mega gigawatt and a policies focus on the renewable energy, Northern India is expected to become the hub for the renewable energy where the company has a strong presence. We will also discuss what are the government supports, policy supports for the solar industry. 
In the union budget 2022 and 23, the government allocated 19,500 crore, that is 2.57 USD billion dollars, for PLL scheme to boost manufacturing of high efficiency solar mode. In June 2021, Indian Renewable Energy Development Agency has invited bid from solar model manufacturer for setting up solar manufacturing unit under the central government 4,500 crore production links in central scheme. In 2021, June day, Ministry of a New and Renewable Energy gave go ahead to NTPC subsidiary to build 4,700 megawatt renewable energy park at Gujarat. This will be India's largest solar park to be developed by the country's leading power producer. What is our view on this company? In solution energy manufacturing, solar panel likely to see a strong growth in the coming year. This is mainly due to the demand rising for solar power being the renewable source of energy. It is pollutant free, it is comparatively cheaper and rising awareness among the users. The company has demonstrated strong revenue and a profitability growth in last three years, where its revenue had grown at a CAGR of 55%, while the net profit has been grow- has growing 50% during 20- FY20 and 22. The company's margins are sub 20, but that is mainly because currently major sales required for the solar panel are imported. However, with a strong demand outlook, capacity expansion, and a mainly supporting incentive from the government, the cell batteries production in India is possible, which can reduce their cost and improve their profitability in coming years. In this IPO, there are around 60 lakh shares are offered at a price band of 36 to 38 discounting FY22 undiluted EPS of by a 4 6 rupees by 7.8 to 8.2 respectively. The one should look at investment in the IPO of this company from the long term perspective, considering a prospective future for the solar industries. Now, why this company is required a fund? As I said, the company is expanding its capacity and therefore the working capital would be the major requirement of the company. The issue is finance to meet their working capital requirement. Now, let me give you the IPO details. The issue starts on 26th of September and it will close on sub- September 29th. The total size of issue is 22.16 by offering 58,32,000 shares of rupees 10, price band of 36 to 38. The market lot of this issue is 3,000 shares and the lead managers are Holani Consultants Private Limited. Look at this issue from long term perspective, strong prospect for the solar energy and the solar panel manufacturing. Thank you.